diversity of T cell receptor or TCR. Diversity means that how many repertoire of the TCR they are being available for binding to the variety of antigens. Just like we saw that in immunoglobulin ke case, mein, jo immunoglobulin surface immunoglobulin hai, jo ke B cell ki surface pe paaya jata hai as a BCR or B cell receptor, it has another diversity. Diversity is the meaning that every one B cell ke upar jo receptor hai, wo ek specific receptor hai for certain kind of antigen. Similarly, TCR may be diversity hai. That means that for a single antigen, there is another single specificity of the TCR and how this diversity is being determined. So same like the immunoglobulin, here in case of TCR, the genetic basis of the diverse array of TCR, it is being responsible. That means that there are certain genes which are being responsible, which determines that how many diversity of the TCR would be there. So, isi wajah se jo TCR ke different arrays or repertoire, they are just going to be originated. So, ek repertoire, it has the ability to recognize the antigen A and the other, it has the ability to recognize antigen B. So, antigen A ke against jo repertoire hai T cell ka, jo array hai TCR ka, wo antigen B ko recognize nahi kar sakegi. Isi tarah jo antigen B ke against jo TCR ka repertoire hai, wo antigen A ko recognize nahi kar sakegi. That determines the specificity. So, so that means that the joining of various gene segments are very important. As we have discussed in case of the immunoglobulin diversity, that means that immunoglobulins are protein in nature. So immunoglobulin, jo protein hai, uska jo expression hai, it is going to be controlled by gene. Means one gene, one protein theory. Similarly, the T cell receptor, they are also protein in nature. So jab ye protein hai, to in proteins ka jo expression hai, wo jo DNA pe genes present hai, those are being responsible for the expression of these genes. So there is the joining of the various gene segment. Jaise immunoglobulin mein different gene ke segment join karke uski diversity ko determine kar rahe the. Isi tarah here in this case of TCR or T cell receptor, the joining of the various segment is being responsible for determining the diversity of the T cell receptors. So, so the T cell maturation, it where it happens, the site of the T cell maturation is the thymus, as the name suggests. Because T cells are T cells are murad, SA cells, SA lymphocytes, which are thymus mein mature. Ho rahe Matlab, inke jo precursor hai, wo bone marrow mein hi hai. Lekin inki jo apni maturation hai, it is going to be happening inside the thymus. So that means that within the thymus, such kind of genetic uh, recombinations, or you can say that joining of the various segment of genes, they are being responsible for determining the specificity or diversity of the TCR. So the germline gene, for example, uh, for alpha chain, because we have discussed in the structure of the TCR that there are two chains, alpha chain and beta chains. They are the making, they are in a form of a heterodimer, the structure of the TCR. So the alpha chain ki jo germline gene hai, us mein, there are two segments, the V and J segment. Jaisi immunoglobulin mein humne dekha tha, V stands for variable and J stands for joining. So here the two segments are being there for alpha chain, V and J. Likewise, the germline gene for alpha and beta chain, that means that in this case, particularly for the beta chain, that means that it can encode, it has another segment for V, D, and J. V for variable, D for diversity, and J for joining. So the uh, gene segment for the beta chain, it contains an additional segment that is the D segment. So there is another combinational diversity. Combinational diversity means that the jo TCRs ke repertoires hai, jo array hai, jo develop hote hai, they are going to be developed under the influence of different combinations. For example, if there is V1, to ye J1 ke saath join karega, or D1, it can join. If there is V2, 
it can join J2 or D2. So different combination or vice versa. You can say that V1 wo J2 ke saath bhi bind kar sakta hai or D2 ke saath bhi bind kar sakta hai. So that means that there is a probability of there are so many combination that determines the combinational diversity. Jaise humne immunoglobulins mein dekha tha ke combinational diversity is determining, is being responsible for uh, the specificity or the diversity of the immunoglobulin. It is just like the TCR because it also belongs to immunoglobulins immunoglobulin superfamily. Th then the specificity of the TCR, the combination of the beta, alpha and beta chains means alpha or beta chain ke jo different combinations hai, they are determining ke uski specificity kya ho sakti hai. Agar ek chain alpha uska variable region is different or beta ka variable region is different that means that it has an, an a different uh, specificity wo ek antigen ke liye specific hai dusri antigen uske sath bind nahi kar sakti that is responsible for the specificity similarly in case of t cell there are also the a very small population of the t cells jo ke unme jo tcr jo t cell receptors hain unme different chains hain and those different chains are the first one is gamma chain and the second one is delta chain means these are unusual t cells jo usual aur jo common t cells hain unme tcr ka structure mein alpha aur beta chains they are being present while in this population that is very small in number isme jo chains hain wo different hain ek gamma chain hai aur dusri delta chain hai that's why these cells are called as gamma delta t cells aur jo common b cells hain unko hum is tarah bhi keh sakte hain ki alpha beta t cells kyunki unke upar jo tcrs hain wo alpha aur beta chain se milke bane hue hain so such kind of t cells means ab hum baat kare hain gamma delta t cells ki ki aise jo t cells hain wo predominant karte hain inside the epithelium जो इंटरनल एपिथीलियम है लाइक like जो जीआईटी है या रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक की जो लाइनिंग है एपिथीलियम की उसमें दीज टी सेल्स दे आर बीइंग रिजाइडिंग एंड दे आर बीइंग रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दी यू कैन से डेट द इम्यूनिटी अगेंस्ट सर्टेन वायरसेस और डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बैक्टीरियल एंटीजन सो डेट दे कैन क्लियर दोज एंटीजन्स एंड डेट्स वाई दीज आर दी responsibility of the gamma delta t cells so the repertoire of the gamma t cells uh, gamma delta t cells they are also being developed usme bhi joining of the gene gene segment is also being responsible just like alpha beta t cells so joining kiski hogi usme gamma chain ka jo germ line gene hai it contains v and j segment just like alpha jaise alpha mein v aur j segments the isi tarah gamma mein v and j segments hain aur inki different joining or combinations they are just determining the specificity and similarly the delta chain germ line gene it contains the additional d region d d segment that is for diversity v d and j segment they are being responsible just like the beta chain of the alpha beta t cells or the combinational diversity is being responsible same like here in gamma delta t cells like alpha beta t cells so different combinations hain different genes ke different combinations v d or j ye aapas mein different combinations mein milenge to and jo tcrs hain unki specificity different ho jayegi so different gamma delta t, t t cells they are just going to be mature or they are just going to be originated in order to cater the variety of the antigens so such kind of diversity in the t cell receptor it is being very very important for providing an effective immune response